Setting up a cutting tool on a mill begins with the tool holder. The two most typical holding devices are collet holders and the collet mounted drill chuck. The more accurate of the two is the collet holder since it is one solid component and has a greater surface area for holding force to be transferred to the tool. Collets range in different diameter sizes in order to accommodate the many different tool diameters that are used on the mill. Take a look at this collet. Notice that the collet has three slits machined into it. When force is applied from the outer surface of the collet, the diameter of the hole shrinks. Notice the keyway and also the threaded end. The keyway is here to line up the collet inside of the mill spindle and the key of the mill drives the collet. The threaded end of the collet facilitates the need to fasten the collet into the spindle. This is done by fastening the threaded rod which extends from the top of the machine down into the spindle. As the draw bar is advanced into the threaded portion of the collet, it draws the collet into the spindle. The result of this action is force is applied to the outer surface of the collet, which tightens the tool into position. The collet is tightened into place with the use of a closed ended wrench. Notice how the brake is used to keep the spindle still while tightening. Collet mounted drill chucks are held securely in the same manner. Using a drill chuck is an advantage because it reduces the setup time when changing tools on a mill. Tools can be removed and replaced in a fraction of the time that it takes when using collets alone. Always be sure when using a drill chuck that the tool being held is running concentric with the spindle before turning on the spindle. Tools that are held incorrectly can fly out of the chuck and cause serious injury to surrounding persons. The tool should always be held with as much of the shank as possible.